Hello and welcome back to Rare Roads Online. So today we are here back running some loads and we did get a January update message yesterday from Astragon. So I figured we'll talk about some of that kind of thing and we will run out um, some tools, quite frankly, out to the oil field where we're at it. So we are here with a 48 just running a couple of the boxcars. Most of that's already kind of filled up, so we'll just kind of finish that up. Um, while we talk about a few of the January update things, it did turn around and say that, um, you know, kind of a delay because everybody was on vacations and that they did, um, you know, basically quality assurance checks on the code and all of that stuff over the break and that it looks like they're going to be adding a few new features, some new locomotives. I um, have to say the new locomotive that it looks like, at least the one of the locomotives that it looks like they promote is the, I believe it's the C-16. Um, it's kind of what we figured that it is and that we are going to be getting coal, coal as a firing option for the locomotives. I think that's probably the biggest part of the update, quite honestly, in my opinion as you know another 280 locomotive is yeah okay cool but the fact that it'll be coal fired i think is much bigger um have to say i'd like to see the 48 converted back to it's supposed to be a coal fired locomotive so hopefully that's another thing that gets done um along with getting the new coal which you know coal as a as a fuel will be cool I think most uh, trained people are looking forward to that and the mechanic of filling the coal in the boxes should be cool. Also if we get to actually use coal for something in the game more than just running it to the ironworks I think is a pretty cool feature. So those are some of the things coming. Looks like there is a, I'm not exactly sure if it's a new 260 or if that's just a reskin new paint for the old uh cook mogul that we have in the game or not not totally sure on that honestly didn't spend that much time looking at that one until today and then i was kind of like i wonder if it actually is the same local or if it's different so no word there anybody knows please kick that in the comments down below so just a few of the new notes oh it looks like we are still on pop this out Quick options. Doom, doo, doo, doo. We're still on talk mode, so we'll bring that down. <clears throat> and up that, that way we can hear the locomotive a little better. Take a look at things. So, uh, yeah, let me turn around and skim through notes real quick. I think we touched on most of the stuff that I wanted to. I think it was pretty cool. The. Um, the color options for the new locomotive, the green, I think is a great step in the uh, right direction. Looking forward to that. Oh, not totally. Guess the big news in the new update too is knuckle couplers. So for those, anybody that didn't catch those on the new locomotive, it does look like we are going for updated couplers and getting knuckle couplers, which should make life a little better. <laughs> There we go. It's definitely looking forward to the knuckle coupler addition in the game. Looks like we're moving up a little bit in time. So knuckle couplers will become a thing. How they're going to function exactly, you know, anybody's guess. But one would assume that they will be a little easier way of hooking up our locomotives anyway. So we'll have to see how that goes. Back to the box cars. Of course, now where's the switch? That switch is fine. Second switch has got a flip. Turn the brake off. Go run up this way. That one doesn't matter. Second one does. Uh, they have not announced anything about the community contest yet which ended on apparently the 15th of the month so haven't heard anything there yet it does appear that they are you know, maybe it's changing up the development of the game a little bit so we'll have to see how things go 
you know, come down the pipeline going forward. Interested to see all that. New year, new plan, it looks like. Oh, oh you don't stick me in the train. There we go. We got it. Nice. Not that we can't go around the other way, it wouldn't really matter, but it is a much longer way to get here for just dropping stuff off, so no point in that, do you have to say. Here we are, number 11, the Gopher. I like these boxcars. I think this is some of the best ro looking rolling stock in the game. Oh, wait a minute. This looks like we're going the wrong way. Get, why am I getting stuck? Uh oh. Oh, Lord. Okay. Alright. Apparently everything's fine anyway, because we're going in the right direction. So, all of that was for nothing. I don't know what the deal is there with the 48 all of a sudden. Never had a hard time with it eating me before, but apparently that's a new feature. Being eaten by the locomotive. <laughs> Not sure what the deal is there. It's kind of weird. Also, I have to say, I've never noticed that the 48's box hung down that low before, but it's actually pretty low. Alright, probably hit some brakes because we're bringing up... These ones are not really a uh, drop them on the fly kind of load, at least in my experience. Does intend to do great things. Go ahead. What are you doing? Unload. There we go. Wow. A little picky today, huh? Alright, fine. Pick it, pick it, pick it. So, get those out, and then I think we can probably get the last two in one drop. Whoop. Don't need to do that. We bring it to rest right in there. That'll work. Should be able to get everything uh, loaded. We'll make sure that we are getting paid, as in these are worth enough at 30 a pop. I'm not really looking to just throw them on the ground for fun. So there's that. And then there we go. Unload, unload, unload. Be good for the day. There is, I do have to say, that's my favorite caboose. Bobber caboose, the red one. 001 is definitely my personal favorite caboose paint scheme. Keeping that one. Not going anywhere with that anytime soon. So, there we go. I think we'll consider that to be a success. Looks like we are rocking beams out here next on our big trip to start filling up all of the industries and cap everything off is going to be the big plan now so there we go call out when a win say thanks for tuning in remember if you get a chance like share subscribe subscriptions are free but they sure do help the channel y'all have a great day